Good morning and welcome to a new series in English language for class 10 students. Uh, in this first video of the series, we're going to look at the portion and the question paper pattern for your English first language paper for the SSC board exams. Now, the question paper pattern has not really changed in this reduced syllabus here. However, uh, in your section B, that is the textual section, there has been a little bit of reduction portion. We we'll look at that as well. Okay. You know your question paper is of 80 marks at the board. Okay. You are given two and a half hours to answer this paper. It is divided into four sections. We begin looking at section A, which is comprehension, carries a total of 12 marks. Now you have two kinds of questions in English comprehension. The first one is a simple, a normal comprehension passage where you're given a passage and below it you have two kinds of questions. Okay, with reference to the passage, do as directed which is you're either asked to find synonyms or antonyms. Okay, words of similar meanings or opposite words. Okay, you get two of those questions. One mark each gives you two there. And then with reference to the passage, choose and write the correct alternative to complete the following statements. So you're given a complete the following statement with options, which an, with an MCQ underneath it, you need to pick up the correct option and write it. Okay, that is four questions like that gives you four marks so your, for, for your first comprehension passage in total you get six okay then for the second type of comprehension is a little different it is your tree diagram okay a tree diagram or what you call a flow chart so you're given a passage and below it you're given the flow chart or the tree diagram with a few blanks okay 12 blanks in total which you need to complete all of them there is no need to redraw the diagram in your answer sheet no one needs to see your artistic skills you just need to write the serial number and write the correct answer against that Okay, 12 blanks, half mark each, 6. 6 plus 6 gives you a total of 12 in comprehension. Then we go to the second section, that is section B for text, which carries a large component of your total of 80. 32 is for text itself. For the 2021 May SSC students, this is the reduced portion. You have only 5 lessons from the textbook, that is the prose reader. A letter to God, two stories about flying, both parts, his first flight and the black aeroplane. From Glimpses of India, you have all three parts, Baker from Goa, Kurg and Tea from Assam. The fourth one is Madam That's the Bus and the last lesson is Sermon at Banaras. Okay, you have seven poems, which is quite a few have been cut out. Dust of Snow, Fire and Ice, Tiger in the Zoo, The Ball Poem, Amanda, Animals and Fog. Okay, whatever is not mentioned here is not there for your exams. And from the supplementary reader, you have five lessons. A Triumph of Surgery, The Thief's Story, The Midnight uh, Visitor, The Necklace, and Bully. Okay, whatever is not mentioned on screen is not there for you for the May 2021 SSE board exam batch. Now, these are the types of questions that are asked as part of your section B or your textual section. Okay, carries a total of 32 marks. So, 3A is your complete the following in about 10 words each. Simple statements, you do not have to copy the stem, you just have to complete the statement as per your text. Okay, four questions, one mark each gives you four. 3B is question answers in about 20 words each, which means you have to make around two points in each answer. Any four out of six gives you two marks per answer, eight in total there. Okay, 3C is a reference to context kind of question. Now, this is not your run of the mill reference to context. It is a bit of an inferential and interpretative reference to context where your answer is not directly sourced within the extract that they give you. Okay, it is the question is based around the extract, yes, but the answer that you have to give is from your reading of the lesson, your interpretation, understanding. It could be about a character, okay, about an event that happened. It may even be something that is not explicitly mentioned in the text. Okay, so that has to be a little longer answer. You're given a choice there, one out of two gives you two marks. Then 3D is choose the correct alternative. This is a meanings kind of question, okay? You know in your English textbook, you have um, a vocabulary list at the right side of every page, okay? So one of these questions will come from there. One of them will be a random word from any of the lessons, okay? For this question, you have MCQ, that is an option question, okay? So you have to pick the correct answer, pick the correct meaning from the options given to you. Two questions will give you one mark each there, so two marks. Okay, so question three A B C D is all about your prose, your lessons. Question four A and B is all about your poetry. You have reference to context from the poems. Okay, you have two extracts, two questions each, gives you four marks there. 
Okay, this includes your figures of speech are asked in 4A. Okay, 4B is question answers from the poetry section, which are long answers. Any three out of four, this uh, revolves around your uh, basic understanding of the central idea, the themes, okay, the analysis of the poem. So three out of four there, two marks per question gives you six. And the fifth question is your supplementary reader. You are given five questions. You have to answer any two of them. This is a very long answer and about 50 to 60 words you have to answer for a total of three marks per question gives you six. Okay. So for um, your prose reader, you have 16 marks. For your poetry, it's 10. And for your supplementary, it is six. Okay. Which gives you a grand total of 16 plus 16 is 32 marks. Then your section C is your grammar section, carries 16 marks. This entire question 6 is distributed for grammar. Okay, your 6A is gap filling, where you choose the correct word from those given in the brackets. It is again an MCQ kind of question. You have to fill up with the word which is most suitable. This is your gap filling exercise. 6 blanks, half mark each gives you 3. 6B is modals. Okay, you are given a situation. You have to act as if you were the speaker there. And you have to frame a suitable sentence using an appropriate model. Now the model is not your any model that you want to write. You are given a couple of models in the bracket. You have to pick out the most appropriate one and frame a sentence using that one only. Okay, so three questions there. One mark each, three. Do as directed, 6C is basically your transformation of sentences without changing its meaning. So in that you have all the um, subtopics that I've mentioned in italics okay relative pronouns combining with or without connectors completing use of uh, suitable conditional clauses nominalization of the verb participles or infinitives degrees of comparison as soon as no sooner than hardly when to and so that if and unless question tags in spite of and although all these come under transformation of sentences you have four of these gives you four marks 60 is changing the voice of the sentences from active to passive and vice versa. Two marks there. 6E is reported speech using appropriate reporting verbs. Two marks there. And 6F is your verbs and tenses. This is again an MCQ kind of question. So you have to pick the most appropriate uh, verbal tense from the bracket and you write your answer. Okay. So you have four questions there. Four blanks have to be filled. Give you half mark each for a total of two. So this is. Um, 3 plus 3 plus 4 is 10, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6, 10 plus 6 gives you 16 for grammar. Now the writing section is a section that has undergone a little bit of change from the previous um, pattern of the paper that we used to be enforced around 3-4 uh, years back. So uh, in the writing section you have a total of 4 questions which gives you 20 marks which is more than it used to be before. Okay, so in question number 7 you are either writing a pie chart or a picture composition. This is a visual stimulus question. Okay, you are not given a choice here. One of the two will be given to you. You will either be given a pie chart or a picture composition. Whatever you're given, you have to work with that. Okay, three marks for that. Question eight is notice or report, which will be around 50 words because you are getting marks here for the format as well. Okay, you have to use the format that is prescribed by the board. Again here, the choice is not up to you. You are given one of the two. You have to write whatever you're given. Again, three marks there. Question nine is you have to write a formal letter using the full block format. There is no informal letter in the 10th standard. And again, here you don't have a choice. Okay, whatever you're given, you have to write a formal letter for six marks because you are using the full block format. Your word count should be around 100 words because you are also getting marks for your uh, format. Okay, and the last question is essay writing. You're given three different topics. You have to write any one of them gives you eight marks. Okay, I hope this video has helped you understand how your English uh, question paper is framed for the SSC. And I hope it will help you to score really good marks. All the best.